Hello everybody, welcome back to Order Battle Burma Road Paradox game we're playing. The Irrawaddy River, which is in Pakoku District, February 1945. In an effort to stretch Allied supply lines, the Japanese have decided not to hold the Chindu Chindwin River, but instead concentrate their defenses along a small distance in Mawadi River. So, a, uh, an offensive scenario. Cross a river. Let's see how the map plays out. After the massive defeat of the Japanese at Impal, the time has finally come to our our return to Burma. Under Operation Capital, British forces will strike deep into central Burma to liberate Mandalay and the surrounding area. Because the Japanese have fallen back all the way to the Irrawaddy Iro River, our supply lines are somewhat stretched. Nonetheless, our material superiority grows daily, while the Japanese are facing shortages of all kinds. As a result, our forces are well supplied for this fight and face a reduced Japanese air force. On the ground, well entrenched defenses and bunker networks are still to be expected. However, we do not want to repeat the Arakan disaster. Time Pressure is also a major factor, especially with the upcoming monsoon season. With a decisive victory here, the operation can be expanded to reach all the way back to Rangoon. Right, so we need to capture four primary VPs on the Irrawaddy River. Pakoko, Mianmu, Mandalay, and Kayak Muang. Also, we need to capture Mike Tila, which is down here in the corner. Uh, that's pretty simple. And we start all the way up here. Okay, so I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna split my forces in two. One will be on this side of the Iromaru Mighty Wit River, and the other will be on this side. And the units over here will be more um, are, uh, motorized because they have to travel quite far, all the way down to Pakoku, and then we'll come around, swing around this way. The others will take Kaduma. On foot, Woodalin, Shwebo, and then take Kyung Miyang. Cross the river up here and come in to Mandalay from this side. Maybe meeting up with the mobile force coming up this way. And then we'll converge and go down and take Mike Tila in the end. I have 59 command points. Which is not enough for my entire order of battle. British infantry can upgrade to 44. This one is already 44. Oh. oh I already upgraded those two, apparently. So just get them back to full strength. The heavy is a 43. I can upgrade to 44. Uh, Special air service can upgrade. Special boat service can upgrade. The Chindits cannot upgrade. The Gurkhas cannot upgrade. Alright, so my heavy infantry, they are motorized and have to start over here. Along with my armored units, the Crusader. And 
Mission Hotel? Should I upgrade that to something else? It'd be quite expensive to, to move it to a Sherman tank. 190. Right, let's not do that. Let's just keep it as it is. And then we have the Sherman. We also have the Chindits, so we have some infantry over here. Let's get the heavy artillery. And the Chindits over here as well. On the other side we'll have all the infantry. And the Gurkhas. Also artillery, of course. And that leaves us with just three command points left. We got the Humber. Everything here is worth only one, except for the engineers. It's worth two. And the AT gun is worth two as well. I think I'm not going to bring the AT gun then. Also, the Calliope is way too expensive, unfortunately. Is it better than my regular Sherman, though? Which one is best? Um, the regular Sherman is better against infantry. And the Calliope is better against armor. Offensively at least. Probably I will face more infantry than uh, tanks, so I think I'll keep the regular Sherman. Then we can bring the Stuart, sorry the Humber. And for the re remaining two points we got our special air service and a special boat service. That's all we can bring. Air Force. We have this fairy sea fox. Put that here. Put the bombers in the back until we know what we're dealing with. And then all the fighters. They can actually upgrade to a Mark 16, which would cost around 100 each. But by looking down at the stats, it will only give them one extra defense against fighters. That's not worth 100 points, so let's not upgrade them. One, two, three, four. That's all our command points. Let's start it up. And we got enemy units right on top of us here. Snipers. AT gun. Sniper. This is 150mm currently set as AT gun. Honey 3, Type 3. And more snipers. There's also an aircraft in here. Let's see what that is. That is a oh, an Otso. There's also artillery in the back here. There's not seem to be any AA gun though. And the other here is a Ginga. Start working on this fella here. And then the 
bomber. So we got no enemy fighters right now, but they can they can pop very quickly. All right. Stop bombing the tank. Sneak attack. We got mines right in front of us here. I could pop these guys through and destroy the tank right away. Knowingly, we got enemy units in there. That's fine. Take out the tank. Hit the sniper. Oh, enemy infantry there. That's a bad position. These guys have all moved. Hmm, I could use the... No, I have to use the bombers if I'm gonna hit this infantry. Now the sniper we can hit with this one. Should be possible to move through here and attack the enemy out to them. Still one here. Let's see what we can find over here. We got the snipers and we have an AT gun. So the heavies are gonna hit the AT gun. Also mines right in front, right in front of us. So the AT gun is down to 8. Let's bring the Sherman around. Oh, there's a foxhole here as well. Uh, okay, they've got units all over the place. gun down a little bit and then hit them with the Crusader. And the rest of the guys will just have to stay there and wait. Because we can't get through. And then we'll use the bombers on this guy here. I'll take him down to five. It should not be a big threat. So looking down, we have heavy infantry in this town. That's the most dangerous unit right now. These guys stay put. Enemy turn one, let's see what they got. The aircraft bailed out. Artillery is firing, of course, and the heavy in the town is firing as well. And that's it. All right. Let's see if I can locate that bomber. No, it's too far away. So we can use the fighters to straight run enemy artillery. Save the bombers for now. Let's see what. No, let's bomb the guys in there. And these guys over here. Alright, so that was all the aircraft. Start on the left side.
Okay. That. So it was one plus one plus to hit the infantry dug in in the town. I might as well just wait. Unless I can bomb them from here. Do I need these guys over here? I mean, do I need the um, artillery? This one. Yeah, let's fire on the artillery here. And then this one can give a uh, helping hand over here. Sneak attack first. Then push them away. Take the town and destroy the AT gun here. Then there's still the artillery in front. I can't reach it with my special forces I can go here destroy that one and go here and then down here all right Japanese turn two Sniper moves a little bit. Ah, oh, there's an artillery on the left side, you can see that. Have to deal with that. And here comes the bomber. And a fighter. And another fighter. Okay, let's get the bomber out of the way tank on the other side and the tank on this side probably hit my infantry yeah. staying put alright two fighters emerged let's start by firing on those guys down here so on the left side bomb these guys move the chintits into the mountains I want to hit that artillery piece The heavies can take a shot here. There we go. Maybe we can get through the tanks. No, there's still the mines, so we have to drive around. Get the chindits over here. Oh, 
Alright. On the other side, there's a fresh tank. I don't really want to hit that. Both artillery. Uh, then... Push this guy back. Take him out. The tank. It's gonna be pushed back. And then we can take the special forces here. Slight chance we can take out the tank. No. Alright, so these guys will replenish. I can actually move and replenish to nine. Let's do that instead. These guys will stay put and go back to eight. Take out that one. That's it. Japanese turn three. The fighter is returning to base. Some replenishments. And the bomber attacks my infantry. That's fine. One damage. My fighters will immediately engage. It's on the move. They can't take much punishment, that's for sure. Reinforcements arriving. More in the back. And more over here. Okay. <laughs> the tank moves into mines. That's kind of weird. It didn't know it had mines in there. It just drove right into it. What's this? Type 4 Haho. Hato. Interesting. Looks like some kind of rocket launcher. Oh, it's an AA gun. I got it. It's an AA gun. No. No, it's a rocket launcher. It's a rocket launcher for sure. Uh, anyway, I'm going to put in a break here and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye bye.